How's it going, people? This is the living room. I'm, uh, I'm waiting for my furniture to arrive. I have a sectional sofa coming here. And new bed coming. Got my lazy boy. Uh, so, I'm sitting in the living room looking out my window, waiting for, uh, I'm gonna have some coffee. Uh, waiting for the furniture to get delivered. <sighs> mm. Much better. So, I thought maybe I'd make a video. It's a little early in the day. It's like about three o'clock. Um, some thoughts. Uh, I've been thinking about what to talk to my Scientology buddy Craig about. And it occurred to me. When I, back in the 80s, when I was considering Scientology, and someone talked me out of it, I started uh, hanging out with these folks. Self-Realization Foundation. And um, they're founded by Paramahansa Yogananda back in, like, what, the 20s or 30s. And it is um, yeah, an introduction to Self-Realization Fellowship. And they... It's described as technology. That here's the Paramahansa Yogananda, and they have quite a bit in common with Scientology. I've noticed. Um, they have a movie made about the guy um, that you can come see for free. It's called Awake: The Life of Yogananda uh, from Counterpoint Films, and they got times where I can come in and see it. And, you know, uh, all kinds of what they describe as self-realization technology. Interesting. Yeah. So. Uh, and it's all about these Hindu guys who uh, made a splash uh, back when everybody wanted to know about the mysterious uh, East. Because obviously they know more than we do. You know, all ancient folks did. Here's what I thought would be interesting. Application for study. This has got enrollment in courses. And they have prices listed. Which is something you won't get from Scientology. So I thought I might send this to Craig. What do you think? Tell him that uh, these people have warned me that Scientology is a ripoff of the Self Realization Foundation, founded by Yogananda and ripped off by LRH. And, I mean, uh, lessons 1 to 19, uh, $14. Uh, lessons 1 to 36, uh, $28. Lessons uh, 1 to uh, 53, $42. See what I'm saying here? Uh, and, you know, Visa, MasterCard, it's it's mostly up front. And I thought, wouldn't that be nice if I mailed this back to Craig? And asked him what he thinks of these guys and this guy. You know, um, that might be fun to see the pot calling the kettle black. Anyway, what do you folks think? Because uh, it's a little idea I've got. And right now, like I said, nothing better to do but drink coffee, eat cookies that my mom brought up, and wait for my furniture to arrive. <sighs> Let me know what you think, SPs. Because um, I wanted to pick the right nut group to uh, make these people jealous, possibly. I wanted to hear what they had to say about them. And I'll also tell them that I had seen a psychiatrist and all that. So I can get the full spiel on psychology and psychiatry and all. And I know they hate them too. So, any ideas? Your input is welcome. Um, that's my that's my plan though. Is I, I wanted to know what I should send Craig. I've been... When I get the return envelopes and they're not... Craig hasn't written his name on them. I just mail them back the Bible tracks that I've done videos on. Uh, 
but I thought maybe I'd give Craig something special. And like I said, let me know if, uh, maybe suggest some questions I could ask him. Um, and any ideas how I might play this? Yeah. <laughs> so, there it is. Uh, tell me what you think. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having and stay tuned.